In this tutorial, we will learn how to use Isaac Sim for reinforcement learning. We will use a car like robot with LiDAR. Rear wheels are used for driving and front wheels are used for steering. The scope of this tutorial is to learn how to create a model for learning, so we will not go into learning itself. In this tutorial, we will use SAC as a reinforcement learning method. First of all, let's see what is SAC. There is a lot of detailed literature about this method, so in this tutorial we will see it only briefly. SAC stands for Soft Actor Critic. SAC optimizes a stochastic policy in an off policy way. Stochastic means that it learns a probability distribution over actions. Off policy means that behavior policy can be different from the target policy and it can learn from past experience stored in a replay buffer. The central feature of SAC is entropy regularization. The policy is trained to maximize expected reward while also encouraging exploration by keeping the policy stochastic. At each time step, the agent gets a bonus reward proportional to the entropy of the policy at that time step. Now let's define our problem. We have a field of size 72 by 72 meters on which the robot will move. The field is divided into 9 large squares. Each large square consists of 9 small squares. In the middle of the upper left square, there is the start area of the robot. And in the middle of the lower right square, there is the goal area. There are two black cubes placed inside each large square except for the large square areas with start or goal areas. Each episode, location of each pair of cubes is changed randomly within a large square to which they belong. The objective of this simulation is to train the robot to move from the start area to the goal area without colliding with the cubes. The agent uses LiDAR scan of every 18 degree index, Y difference of the robot coordinate and center of the goal area. So, state space is represented as a one-dimensional array with 22 elements. The robot moves forward with constant velocity. The only action it can take is to steer the front wheels. So action space is represented as a one-dimensional array with one element. The robot gets positive reward if the distance to the goal in the current step is shorter than the distance to the goal in the previous step. Negative reward is given if the robot is closer to the cube than the threshold value, or if the robot hits a cube. If the robot hits a cube, the episode ends. Now let's see how we should set up Isaac Sim to do reinforcement learning. In this tutorial I expect that Ros Humble is already installed and Isaac Sim can be launched from Omniverse Launcher. If you haven't installed Omniverse yet, Please see this tutorial. First, install Isaac Sim Python package. This package is a meta package that installs the complete version of Isaac Sim. A more detailed explanation of installation can be found in this page. Now we are going to create a USD file which we will use for reinforcement learning. Please download the Isaac Sack zip file and extract it your home directory. This folder includes all files that we need for the simulation. Launch the Isaac Sim. First, we will import a URDF file of the robot. Click on the Isaac Utils tab. Move the cursor to Workflows and select URDF Importer. URDF Importer window will open. Since our model is not stationary, remove the check from the fix base link option. Click on the folder image in the input section. Click on the robot URDF file. And click on the select URDF button. Finally click on import. Now, we need to add the ground plane. Open the Create tab. 
Select ground plane from the physics menu. Move the robot a little bit above the ground. Let's add a LiDAR sensor to our robot. Select the LRF link. Again, open the Create tab. Select in the Isaac, Sensors, RTX LiDAR order. Select Rotating. LiDAR sensor will be added. The reason that the LiDAR sensor is shown as camera sensor is because it uses NVIDIA's RTX real-time ray tracing technology. It performs ray casting but takes advantage of the RTX GPU's real-time ray tracing capabilities to provide a more detailed and accurate point cloud. Next, we will add an Omni graph to publish LiDAR scan data. From the Isaac Utils tab, select Common Omni Graphs and then select ROS2 RTX LiDAR. As a LiDAR prim, select the sensor we just created. Open this graph. Select ROS2 RTX LiDAR Helper node. Set frame ID to LRF link. Also, check the Show Debug View option. This is not mandatory, but it will give us an understanding of whether the LiDAR sensor is working properly. We also have to add Transform Publisher to keep track of the robot's position. From the common Omni graphs, Select ROS2 TF Publisher. As a target prim, select the robot. Open the ROS TF Omni graph. In the ROS2 Publish Transform Tree node, add a LiDAR link as a target prim. Let's check whether the ROS2 topics we have set are published properly. Start the simulation. Open terminal and execute the ROS2 topic list command. We can see that laser scan and transform topics are published. Now, add a cube to the stage. Start the simulation again. Open our Viz2. Add the laser scan topic. As a fixed frame, select the LRF link. Make point size a little bit bigger. We can see that LiDAR data is published properly. Now we are going to add a controller to steer the front wheels. Select Articulation Position Controller. As a robot prim, select Omni Robot. Open Position Controller Omni Graph. Isaac Sim automatically adds all joints to the Make Array node, but we will use only the front left knuckle joint and the front right knuckle joint. So, delete all other joints. Add the ROS2 subscriber node and the ROS2 context node to the graph. The message that we are using to publish knuckle joints angles is a float64 multi-array of standard messages. Here, write topic name.
Add articulation velocity controller the same way. Here, we will use only the RL wheel joint and the RR wheel joint. Message name and message package are the same as position controller. As a topic, we will use forward velocity controller commands. Connect the data port to the velocity command port of the articulation controller. We also should make several important modifications to the joints. Click on the front left knuckle joint. When we import the URDF file, Isaac Sim automatically assigns the properties for our joint. These properties are fine for position control, but in case of velocity control, we should modify these values. Click on our L wheel joint. Change stiffness value to 0. And change the damping value to 1. This will enable smooth rotation of the joints. We also should modify front wheel joints. Click on FL wheel joint. Delete drive property. This property was also assigned automatically by the program, but we don't need it because front wheels are supposed to rotate freely. Do the same modification for FR wheel joint. As a final step of modeling, we have to import STL files. From the Files tab, click on Import. Next, in the STL Files folder select the Isaac Stage STL file. Rotate this model so that it will lay on the ground plane. We will make the color of the stage darker. Click on Default Material. Click on Albedo. Click on this square. Move this circle to change the color. Perform the same operations for the start goal STL files. Move the car to the initial position of our simulation. We will add contacts between the wheels and the STL files we just have imported. Because for now, the car contacts only with the ground plane and it goes through other objects. Click on the node, then add, physics and colliders present. Then, click on mesh. In the property tab, under the physics menu, we can confirm that a collider section is added. Do this operation for the two remaining objects. Now, when we start the simulation, the car is not going through the stage. We have completed modeling, so let's see the program briefly. Open the train sack Isaac Pi script. In this part, we import Isaac Sim related libraries, enable ROS2 bridge and open the USD file. Here, we initialize variables. Here, we define publishers for the steering position controller and the velocity controller. In this part, we create new cubes. In the step function, based on translational velocity and received action, that is robot yaw velocity, steering angle is calculated and published. 
Then we run the simulation for 20 steps. Here, we collect data and calculate reward. In the reset function, new positions for each cube are determined. In the get model state class, position of the robot is received. In the lidar subscribe class, lidar data is received. Sometimes, the lidar sensor outputs zero or negative values, so to avoid getting invalid data as much as possible, we supply from several nearby data points. In the Clash Calculation class, using bitwise operation, whether the robot has hit the cube or not is calculated. If the robot did not collide, bitwise and operation result image will be black. But if there was a collision, the part that has collided will be white. In this way, we can say, that if the sum of white pixels is bigger than zero, the robot is in collision. Now let's run the program. To run this program, open a new terminal and just run the train sack Isaac Pi script. If you encounter this error while executing the Python script, install these packages. The trained model will be generated in the checkpoints directory. For evaluation, please run the evaluate sac Isaac Pi script.